Hare Krishna. Stop playing games with your mind and with those who play games with your mind. Playing games is often an enjoyable activity. But suppose somebody starts playing games with a dangerous creature. Say for example, uh, an animal like a horse which has not yet been domesticated and which has not yet been broken. Then uh, if a child who is untrained or naive and weak goes uh, face to face with a horse, that child might get terribly injured. So they need to be very very careful. So you cannot play games with somebody who is potentially dangerous. Mm. Now, uh, eh, eh, so our mind is like that. The Bhagavad Gita tells us that our mind can be our worst enemy. So now, uh, the Bhagavad Gita 6, 6 says that Bandhuratmatmanastasya yenatmaivatmana jitaha anatmanastu shatrutve varte tatmaiva shatruvat that uh, if we don't restrain, discipline, train the mind, then the mind can be our worst enemy. So now we can have respectful dealings with somebody who is powerful also. We can even be cordial. But yes, we need to be cautious. Similarly with respect to our mind, playing games with our mind means taking the mind too lightly. Not recognizing how dangerous it can be. And going along with uh, its temptations, its allurements and letting our guard down. Now worse still is playing games with those who play games with our mind. That means that some we all have certain weaknesses. So for example, some people might have trust issues. That means their mind is always uh, dread is the worst about others. Their mind things becomes paranoid thinking oh what if this goes wrong what if that goes wrong what if this person betrays me and then say they are here their mind is very doubtful and then somebody comes and fuels the doubts in their mind so somebody plays games with their mind that means they just sow one seed of suspicion in their mind they create fear, they create insecurity and then this person, because their then mind a, takes that one uh, one stimulus and goes on a hyperdrive and then what happens, such people who know our weaknesses and who exploit our weaknesses we need to be very careful to keep a distance from them if we don't, then we will be swept away we will find ourselves so thoroughly carried away that our that we will become like their puppets. They, so, so when we recognize, okay, such these persons, they this person's association agitates my mind, and not agitates in a, to agitate to educate, but agitate to uh, agitate to delude, agitate to degrade. So then we need to keep a distance from them. We can be formal and we can be cordial. Uh, we can be polite, but we don't have to become too personal with them. So when we learn to keep a deal with a healthy respect with our mind and with those who play games with our mind, then we can tap the power of the mind without being trapped by that power. Thank you. Hare Krishna.